Hello, my name is Ian McKeever. I am a British artist, painter, and this is my second exhibition with Heather Gowdy of Fine Art. The genesis for the group of works comes from Neolithic Stone Circle in the English countryside called Avebury. When I visited the site, I was uh, struck by the contrast between the sort of brute physicality and the brute massiveness and my own, if you like, etherealness around them. What struck me was the weight of them, the sort of solidity of them, relative to, to my own sort of fluid state in the world. You know, they've been there for 5,000 years. Uh, I'm, in comparison, with just a relatively short duration on, on the face of the earth. And these time scales intrigued me. And so that was really my starting point. It wasn't so much the appearance of the stones, it was more what they, sort of what they signified, that when you first come to the paintings, one of the things you experience is that inherent time in the painting, rather than actually feel it as a visual experience in any other sense. But I used black because I wanted to get something towards the weight of the stone. And black, because of its density, seems to carry much more of that weight in that other colors tend to hold more symbolic reference. And I see black as just another colour in the artist's palette. The works are built up quite slowly, layer upon layer. Initially there is some staining behind them. It's a slow process. Uh, often one painting can take a year or two from beginning to end. That's not to say that I'm working on the paintings all the time. Often I will have five or six paintings on the go. I will start on one, take it so far, put it aside and take out another one and take that one so far. And then perhaps three or even six months later, go back to that first painting and do more to it. The works are in two halves. There is a, a larger panel and a narrow panel. I wanted to do that in order to find out something about what happens when two forms abut each other. And so for me, it's a critical part of how the pieces function that you have two independent elements, a right panel and a left panel, which are brought together, which then make a unified painting. I like to work on a fairly large scale. I like the relationship of my own body to the physical size of the painting. I want to have that body-to-body -body experience, whereby you are coming uh, sort of face-to-face -face with a painting. Yet in order to make the painting work, Curiously, you have to keep a big painting simple, so you have to leave a lot out. Yet all of those other possibilities could be paintings. So what I tend to do is I try to keep the paintings as clean and as simple as possible, and then subsequently, many of the ideas that could have gone into the paintings, I then explore further in making the watercolors. The works on paper are essentially gouache and watercolor on handmade paper. Unlike many artists who use works on paper to do sort of preparatory works for the paintings, that's not, how the, that's not how I work. I work initially only on the paintings, and it's only after I finish the paintings I then go on to work on works on paper. For me, the works on paper are a kind of catharsis 